Hey guys, welcome back to Alex Plays Fishing Planet. This is part two of my historical white crappie uh, set of videos so that you guys can maximize the current event. Now, keep in mind when you're fishing this particular area on Pike Challenge in Missouri on the specified times, uh, there is the chance that you're going to accidentally hook into a alligator gar. So I wanted to quickly give you a tip on uh, what to do if you accidentally hook into a gar and you're using you know a line that is just not strong enough to pull in a gar so if this happens uh, what you're going to want to do and i'm going to do it here in just a second is you're going to want to flip your reel into reverse by uh, lowering the reel speed and then you're going to start to reel backwards and that's going to go ahead and get rid of the fish so there you go. Right now you see I am reeling backwards. I'm giving him as much line as possible. I'm pointing my line straight at the fish. And uh, when he stops running, we're going to have him just spit the lure. And this is a way for you guys to save some bait if you accidentally hook into a gar. So let's go ahead and start getting into the times, techniques, and baits that I've been using to catch these historical white crappies so that you can go out and do it yourselves. Okay guys, so let's get into the actual time zones in which they can be caught. Now they can be caught on both crankbaits, but if you're not a high enough level or you don't have access to crankbaits, you can also use the inline spinner and we'll see that in the very next cast. So the first time that you can catch them is 5 a.m. on a cloudy day casting towards the uh, flat laydown log in uh, Pike's Challenge here in Missouri. All right, and there we go. This is on the six foot number three aught crawfish crankbait. And I have caught them on a variety of uh, these crankbaits. Next up, we have the one eighth ounce number one aught inline beetle spinner. Now this is uh, a very popular lure for catching trout in Colorado and Oregon. And this once again is cast to the same spot. I'm not doing anything particularly special. All I am doing is doing a one speed retrieve uh, just a full straight retrieve on both the uh, crankbait and the inline spinner so you don't have to use any kind of special techniques. This is what I found to have been working. Uh, this is on an ultralight setup using 8 pound test line so these guys really aren't a challenge at all. Uh, here we have the 3 foot number 3 aught crankbait. Uh, this is at 9 a.m. That last fish was at 6 a.m. So we have a couple of time frames in which they can be caught. Now just keep in mind, um, these are only the ones that I can confirm. I have heard reports that you can catch them at, in the last songs of Summer Peg using a casting spoon, but I have not been able to prove that as of yet. I will continue uh, doing research for you guys and getting you the most up-to-date information about this uh, particular fish where you can catch them. So this is a 9 a.m. fish on the uh, crankbait. This is the number three, uh, th uh, three foot crankbait. And here we have a 10 a.m. fish on the three foot number three aught crankbait as well. So uh, just keep in mind, it seems that it doesn't really matter what crankbait that you have. Uh, I haven't tried any deep diving ones yet. I think three and six foot are been the only ones that I've been able to test. But you know, I'm trying to get uh, as up to date and accurate information for you guys as possible. And the way that I can prove that it's accurate information is uh, simply by catching them. So just uh, keep that in mind, guys. I will try and get you uh, more accurate information or more and accurate information as time goes by. So here's another one. This one is a 10 a.m. fish. And there you go. Now we're going to move on to uh, nighttime fish. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to catch them uh, outside of the 5 p.m. time zone. So uh, I'll continue to... Uh, try and catch these fish uh, outside of, you know, the time zones that they've already been proven to be caught at and give you guys more up-to-date information as it comes. So, absolutely confirmed baits are crankbaits and in inline spinners. You can use crawfish or blue and white. There we go. <clears throat> this one is on the blue and white three-foot number three-aught crankbait. So let's go ahead and just pull him in real quick. There we go. Excellent. And 
Next up, we have a very similar crankbait. This one is going to be on the six foot number three out crankbait again. So once again, uh, very repeatable. This one is almost at six o'clock at night, almost, but not quite enough to be able to call it uh, in the six o'clock time zone since it is uh, just late 5 p.m. when I caught it. So you guys know the time zones now. I'll go ahead and put that up on the screen once again for you guys to see. And these are all caught during cloudy days, guys. Cloudy days. I will uh, be doing additional research on partly cloudy and fully sunny days. I hope this guys, uh, hope this helps you guys out and where to catch up, what time of day and what kind of day to catch them at. So get out there and catch some fish, guys.